Hello and welcome to my tutorial for PitTest, a mutation testing tool for Java. Below in the description you can find timestamps for the different parts of the tutorial if there's anything specific you're looking for. Mutation testing works as follows. First you write your tests as you usually do. Then you mutate the code, you create a mutant, which is a version of the code with a small change in it, and you run it on the same tests as before. If all the tests passes, even though some error has been injected, then this is bad. It means that you don't know what errors are or are not in the code. A mutation testing tool generates many mutants, versions of code with errors in them, and then runs them on the tests. It counts how many mutants are killed, meaning that uh, the test caught the error, and calculates a per percentage of killed versus unkilled mutants. What this achieves is an evaluation of the test suite. Traditionally, line coverage is used to evaluate the test suite, but mutation testing can catch more untested semantics of the program. In this tutorial I will show you how to quickly get started with mutation testing with pittest using the maven plugin on the command line. I'll uh, give an example use case, I'll also compare two test suites to show that uh, the mutation testing is really valuable. I will also go over some advanced use and uh, how to use pittest, uh, how to configure pittest. Okay, so let's begin with the tutorial, shall we? Here I have uh, my terminal open, and um, I'm going to create a new Maven project. I'm just uh, creating a quick start project, it has like a hello world thing in it. And um, the D group ID is Gustav, that's my name. The D artifact ID I use is triangles, because this example I'm going to use later is all about triangles. So, let's create it and then uh, we're gonna edit the pom.xml file to include the plugin. So, let's... Um, yes, you see, here is the pom.xml. Let's um, open it up in a text editor. Mm. No, this is wrong. Here, workspace triangles, pom.xml, open with text editor. Okay. So, right here, by the other plugins, we want to place uh, this little snippet here. It uh, basically tells Maven this is a plugin, get the latest version, etc. etc. Mm -hmm. So, just copy that here and uh, yeah, arrange it like this before the plugins tag here. And this is all you need to install it. Um, now, um, to install it, let's first let's first package our hello world, and uh, then we'll run our first mutation test just on an empty uh, on an empty uh, project. So uh, we did that using MBN package, and. Uh, Next we want to do a maven... Uh, what's it called? A maven goal? A maven goal, yes. A maven goal called uh, mutation coverage, and it's from pittest. And uh, it's copied here. It's mvn org.pittest colon pittest maven mutation coverage. And uh, we just run that, and uh, okay, it generated one mutation and didn't kill it, but uh, it's a successful build at least, and uh, it should download the pit test if you don't already have it. Okay, so here I have uh, my program open in uh, my editor, and um, the location of this file is uh, in the triangles directory, source, main, java, and then uh, just this app.java. And here I have my triangles program. And um, what this does is it uh, categorizes triangles. You input 
three sides of the triangle and tells you if it's a if it is a triangle or or if it's not a triangle if it's an equilateral triangle meaning that all the sides are of equal length or if it's an isosceles uh, triangle where uh, two two sides are of equal length but the third side is different or if it's a scalene triangle which is a valid triangle where all the sides are different and um, you can see this is uh, implemented pretty simply uh, just uh, yeah so uh, to check if it's not a triangle it checks if it's less than or equal to zero as a side of a triangle can't be zero or less um, it also checks that uh, two sides together that no side is larger than the other two sides together because then it's not a triangle either. Then it checks that all the sides are the same with this AND here and um, if that's not the case then uh, it checks if it's an isosceles triangle uh, by comparing uh, if any of the two sides are the same and uh, otherwise it uh, assumes it's a scalene triangle. So that's what this program does. Okay, here I am in my apptest.java file. I have a simple test suite. Uh, it has one example of every type of triangle. For example, it has this 1-1-1 one, one, one triangle. A triangle with sides 1 of length 1, 1 and 1. And that's an equilateral triangle. And the same as for the other ones. They just have uh, one example of it. Now, uh, let's uh, run the mutation testing on it. First we uh, compile it, mvn package to do that, and then we run um, this command again, um, the mutation coverage command that you saw earlier. And uh, now it's a little bit more interesting, you see. It uh, generated 26 uh, mutations and it killed 18 of them for a 69% uh, uh, death rate, <laughs> I guess you could say. But uh, this, uh, this is hard to look at. But luckily for us, um, here in target there are pit reports. And uh, let's just go to the latest one and open this with Firefox. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, much better. You see we have 47% line coverage with our test suite and a 69% mutation coverage. And uh, we can even look at what specific mutations cost it by uh, clicking, our, uh, clicking our way through here. And uh, of course, our, uh, our main method that just gets the input and prints it, that... Uh, is not covered by the test suite, it's not supposed to be covered in this case and um, then you see here that uh, the green means that the mutations were killed um, here for example it replaced the return value and then of course it failed the assert and um, here the mutations survived w why might this be? Well. For example, they uh, changed the conditional boundary, so instead of a less than or equals to, they had just less than. But since we didn't have any sides that were exactly zero that cost not the triangle, the mutation survived and uh, is therefore a bad thing for our test suite. It uh, shows that it's not so good. So now we updated our test suite a little. We added different ways that the triangles can be isosceles with uh, different sides being uh, being the one that is different from the others. And um, we also added uh, many different non-triangles. So for example we added the 000, zero, zero uh, non-triangle or triangles where two sides don't add up to the to the largest side 
and uh, we also have all permutations of it so that um, if it just checks for one side then it's gonna fail anyways because we we have all sides so let's uh, first compile it with mvm package then let's um, let's run the mutation coverage again and see what we get okay we got 73 percent so we killed a few more mutants um, let's uh, look at the report to see um, see what survived and what didn't Yes, so it looks kind of similar, but uh, it obviously killed uh, a few more mutants. Um, so there might be uh, something about this logic here that um, um, maybe maybe the first statement here is redundant, since if a side is zero, then uh, two, th then there will always be one so side that's larger than. Uh, two sides added together um, so maybe maybe that's why um, we can't create a better test suite for this case but um, but th this is an example of me finding unused code live using mutation testing so in a way this is uh, this is even even better than creating a good test suite it's finding bugs for me already Okay, so now I want to talk about some of the customizations or configurations you can make as an advanced user uh, to pit test. So uh, the first thing I recommend is uh, using the option D with history when you run the mutation test. With history. Um, because uh, what this will do is it will cache some of the results and it will make it a lot faster when you run it next time. This is crucial for uh, using mutation testing on large projects uh, and it's something I definitely recommend. If we look here again at the HTML file um, for our mutation test we can see that we have these active mutators here um, uh, you can actually choose which of these you want to use and for example the invert negs mutator will take uh, any negative numbers it sees and invert them to positive the void method call will take methods that uh, are void um, that go into void um, there's also uh, some uh, yeah, like the negate conditionals mutator will negate conditionals, for example. And uh, if you want to define which ones of these you want to use yourself, you can do that. So to um, use a mutator, for example, the negate negatives mutator, we have to change the configuration for this uh, plugin, the pit test plugin. Here is... Uh, a code snippet for it. It has the configuration tag, the mutators tag, and then it says just this one mutator, but you would put several mutators here if you wanted that. So we place that here and uh, put it like this. So now they're placed correctly. And uh, yeah, uh, now it will only negate conditionals uh, only do that kind of mutations if I save the file here and uh, to show this uh, let's run it okay took four seconds let's uh, go here to the pit report and take the latest open it up and you can see I have a hundred percent coverage for <laughs> negating uh, conditionals. It was, um, and uh, it only generated eleven mutants because that's how many uh, conditionals I had in my code, I guess. Mm. And uh, here you can see them. 
So, yes, less active mutators, and uh, you can get very creative with this. But uh, it's worth noting that the defaults for pit tests are very good, so uh, unless you know what you're doing, you probably don't have to do this. Anyways, this has been my tutorial for pit test with Maven. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Catch you on the flip side.